first go to about.me. Once you get there, set up an account by typing in your first and last name and your email address. Click join for free. Then create a password. Pick a username suggestion. Use your name. To get full credit for the assignment, you will have to have your name on the page. From Blackboard on week two, select personal branding template. Press the down. Click open. You'll now see the background. Save this to your desktop. Save image as. Navigate to <coughs> desktop and save. Okay, from about.me, you'll want to edit your page. So where you start is, you'll see that there is this nice little dialog box. And you'll want to upload an image. So upload the image that you've just saved. Depending on your Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so there it is. Now, you don't want that dead center of your page, so let's place it off to the right. Make sure that this is, is checked. Okay, now that you have your background in place, we're going to write your biography. So first, put in your name. And then let's put a headline, such as Rawls College of Business, Marketing Student. Or, but you can do a different variation, something that's descriptive that will set, tell your interests and then frame you as a college student. Now the biography we will be working on further, but that will be basically your 45 to 1 minute long elevator speech. And typically for a biography, you write it in the third person. So, So I'm being very specific that I'm a first year student. I'm going to make my name bold and italicize it to draw some attention to it. And I give reference that I'm an undergraduate student at the Rawls College of Business. The next thing you'll want to do is add your location. If you're working, you can add that. Education, put Texas Tech University. And for tags, we need to have tags so that um, if people are searching, that they can find us easily. So let's start with Texas Tech, Rawls College of Business, let's try student, university, I'm interested in marketing, social media, I'm interested in mobile marketing. And then something just of interest, um, European travel. Now, to make the most of this, you want to show folks that you are professional. So let's upload a photo from your computer. Now today, you can upload one that is somewhat sanitized. You won't have your CMC headshot yet, or maybe you do, but once you have that, you'll replace your bio photo. So there, there we go. My bio photo has popped in. Okay, now we've added the rest of our text. I've put some placeholder text. Now we need to make it look a little bit better. So one of the first things we'll want to do is go back into edit page. and. Let's look at the fonts we're using. Now, what we don't want to do is clash with the Rawls College of Business font. 
um, because that will be the primary thing that they're going to see. Um, let's take a look at what's available. Right now we're using Kaluna, which actually looks pretty decent. Um, so let's just leave that. Our headline is a different font, so we really don't want that. So let's find Kaluna and match it. Perfect. Okay, that looks pretty decent. Now, we want our name to be big, so let's make it a little larger, drag the slider over, and notice that it um, actually makes the entire paragraph larger. We want our headline to be just about like that, perfect. Now, colors. Leave the background the way it is. Um, that color works pretty well with our photo. But if we want our fonts to be a different color, there's a really cool thing we can do. So let's look at the name. Now if you see this little thing right here, click that, and I can go over the image and choose any color that is in our picture. And let's just say I want to go black. Perfect. There we go. Now for my headline, pick the recent color, there I go. Or if I did decide that I wanted to go back and use the red from the image, just hover over, and there's that red. And recently used color, boom. So there you have matched the colors that are being used in the Double T logo. Going back to fonts, we'll probably want to match. So let's pick Kaluna. And for our links, typically you can leave those what they are, Apertura condensed, just so that it seems like it's slightly different. But I would say that for our biography, that's a little bit small. Let's make the bio a little bit larger. So you don't want to write so much that everything gets pushed so far off the page. So, now we're going to add a link. One of the first links you're going to put on this page, once you've completed a LinkedIn page, will be your LinkedIn profile. Now, if you've done your page correctly, it will have your name in it. So let's put mine in, It will check the URL. Scroll down, so it says LinkedIn, but that's kind of ugly. So let's go back to edit page again. Look at the links, go down to the pencil, and then type over it and say LinkedIn profile. Save. Perfect. Now it's nice and clean. Now let's say that an article was written about you in the Daily Toreador or your local newspaper. Um, you can link straight off from there, and so you can have a number of other links. And that's how that works. So some final things to look at. I'm going to drag Edit Page out of the way. You'll notice that you can drag around your picture or your biography. Here's what you don't want to do. You don't want to have it dragged over the image. So drag it all the way to the left or center it. I prefer it all the way over to the left. Now, on your image, yes, you can drag this around, but you really want this off to the right. You really want them to be somewhat separate. So visually, that looks A couple of little tweaks that I like to do. Go back into Edit Page. On Fonts. The larger you make your name, the larger the bio box goes. So if you want your bio box to be spread out a little bit more, make your name a little bit larger. And we can also now make my title a little bit larger. Still, that's all the way to the left. Um, you want to be careful that you don't make it too big, that in other um, browsers, say you're in Safari or Internet Explorer, that it crosses over into the image. Apps, don't worry anything about. That's a, a different function. You'll mostly work on links. 
contacts. If you want to put a phone number or an address, you can. Um, but in settings, display email me button, add to favorites, love your page. What that really means is that people can say that they like your page. Um, and I'm a big fan of having the share button. So um, if a recruiter sees your page, they can share it with others. So there's some really good advice in the promote tab. Add your about.me into your email signature. Or if you have bought your name as a, a domain through a domain provider such as GoDaddy or Network Solutions, um, you can have your name like mine is Lynn Humphrey. I forward over to my about.me page. On any of your profiles, you may want to link it over to your about.me. You can share very easily to the various social networks. Now this is kind of cool. You may want to grab some images, some Texas Tech images, and but what they will do is they will give you um, a number of free business cards. You'll have to pay for shipping, but it will have a QR code that leads to your page. Um, you still will want to have professional business cards, such as what the CMC suggests, but great little option there. Okay, our page is built. Everything looks good. Now we're going to look at the dashboard. So the dashboard shows us people that have looked at us. Actually, Jacob works at um, about.me, and he helped us quite a bit um, with the template. You can see these other folks have looked at me. It'll also tell me when I've done different things to the page and if somebody has liked our page. So that's good. But what I wanted to show you is page statistics. Now we're not going to see a bunch, but you'll notice that no statistics here. Let's go to week. So we've had a few people looking at the page. So now we've actually jumped into my other page. This is my own personal page. And so I can toggle by month and you can see that I had a spike here just after school started in the week Thursday people were looking at me um, historical average so people on average look at my page for two minutes 50 seconds 100% um, of people were new visitors I've had 2392 and 38 um, iPhone app visits uh, top search engine term it's actually my name but misspelled I don't use the S Let's go to the month. You can see that I have had one view here. Then let's go to the year. So on my page, these are the things that they've looked at. This dl.dropbox is actually my resume. They've looked at an interview with USA Today, my um, digital portfolio, and all these other links. But where it gets interesting is here are the different ways that people have found me through Google. Link and email, pretty important. My link from my Huffington Post, Google. So you get an idea of how people are finding you.